All right. <clears throat> the altitude of a triangle is increasing at a rate of one centimeter per minute, while the area of the triangle is increasing at a rate of two centimeters squared per minute. At what rate is the base of the triangle changing when the altitude is 10 centimeters and the area is 100 centimeters squared? All right. So we have a triangle. Nice. And so it's height is 10 centimeters. I'm just gonna assume that altitude is just a pseudonym for height. So our area, our formula for the area of a triangle is one half base times height. And at this particular moment, our area is 100 centimeters squared. And our base is unknown, which we'll solve for times 10 centimeters, the height. So 100 equals five times base because half of 10 is five. And so 20 centimeters is the base of the triangle at this particular moment in time. And so this triangle, I'm gonna take this out, it's gonna be my picture. This triangle has a growing altitude and a growing base. Dude, this sucks. This triangle has a growing altitude and a growing base. And so we're trying to find what the rate of the base at what rate the base is changing of the triangle when the altitude is 10 and the area is 100 centimeters squared. So the base is growing along with the altitude. And so we can use the product rule to find the derivative of, or the um, related rates equation of the area of uh, a triangle. And so D dA over dt equals one half time, the derivative of b would be one db over dt times h plus one half b times the derivative of h times dh over dt. And so we know the height is 10 centimeters. We know the base is 20 centimeters since we solve for those. And we know that the altitude of the triangle is increasing at one centimeter per minute. One centimeter per minute. And that the area of the triangle is increasing at two centimeters squared per minute. So I'm just gonna solve right here for the rate at which the base is, uh, rate at which the base of the triangle is changing at this particular moment in time. So two equals one half 10 times DB over DT plus one half times 20 times one. And so two equals five DB over DT plus 10. And so db over dt equals negative 8 over 5 centimeters per minute. I'm just going to make sure I have everything that we need. So we have the setup of the problem, we have a drawing, we have the related rates equation, we have <clears throat> the implicit differentiation, we have the final answer, which I'm almost positive is correct. Uh, I think my presentation was pretty clear. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, I'm just gonna go over the problem one more time just to make sure. So this triangle the area
area of this triangle is increasing at a rate of two centimeters squared per minute. And so for this area to increase, the, the, uh, the base and the height would need to change and the altitude is just, I think that's just a, a pseudonym for um, height. And so this height is increasing, that's terrible increasing at one centimeter per minute. That's terrible too. Min. And so the base, we're trying to find rate at which this base is changing. Since we know the areas, we know how much the area is changing by. And so we use the facts given, the area is 100 centimeters, altitude is 10 centimeters. We're trying to find the rate at which the base is changing at this particular moment. And so we plug it in, A equals one half uh, base times height. We solve for height. And then we implicit, implicitly differentiate. A equals one half base times height. We use the product rule. And we get the rate of the base with, uh, the rate at which the base is changing with respect to time is negative eight over five centimeters per minute.